Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers. Today I'm going to do number 27 in my powerful Tools of Affinity photo. Uh, you can see the link to the whole series, so if you want to check out any of the other ones, the link is in the description. And please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it really helps me and my channel and it keeps these videos coming. Uh, today we're going to talk about lighting. And I just thought I'd try something simple, and we're going to be, do this on the fly, so I have no idea whether it'll work, but I'm going to try to do some theatrical lighting. So let's get started. I pulled this photo in from Stock Photos, and the link is in the description below if you want to use this one. And then all I'm going to do is make sure I rasterize it. And I'll make a duplicate just in case I need it. Okay, so now we're going to go to Filter and Lighting. And this light appears. I have it on Spotlight, which is what I'm planning on using anyway. Now, you take if you use the middle one, you can use these bars, but if you use this middle one, it moves it wherever you want to move the lighting, just like that. If you use this one right here, it brings it really strong or far away. It spreads it out, and this one spreads it wide. And you can also follow these and do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to just, and this one on the corner here turns it. So I'm going to turn this. And once again, I'm doing this <laughs> not knowing what is the end result's going to look like. But I'm going to try and do something maybe just to get like his eyes, something in that area. So that's one light. Now I'm going to add another light. So right here in this control panel, I click on Add, and it gives me one more light. And I'm going to do the same, whoops, I'm going to do the same thing kind of on the other side. So let's do maybe like, maybe like that. That's not bad. And I want to give them some color. So trying to get the angle right. If I want to go back to the first slide, I go to one like that, and then I just do that. And this one looks a little bit different than the other one. So I'm going to go back to two and see how my angle is here. I feel like it's not as close. Maybe the angle is a little off. That's better, I think. Okay. And maybe a little bit down this way. So down like this. Okay, so let's give this one a color. This is number two. Let's start here. And maybe we'll give it something in that family. And then let's go to light number one and give it a color also, maybe in the blue family, maybe a little bit lighter like that. We can even go into the little bit of a greenish which I like that way too. Okay, so now we have two lights. I don't, I don't really use uh, Speculum as much. Basically, it's brighter at the very beginning, but I like to keep them toned down. So I'll keep that down. And shininess I do like, but that works. Maybe we need a little Speculum. And that brightens everything up like that, if you have a little bit of Speculum there. So I'm going to leave that like that. And then I want another light, I think, to cover most of the rest of the area. Maybe down here we'll face it the opposite way. So let's add another light. And let's face it down here. And maybe for most of his lower body like that. We'll see. We'll give that a try and see what that looks like. And maybe this one will be in the blue, deeper blue family kind of liking that. It's kind of giving it a like a dramatic effect. And we'll do other things later. I think I can widen this one a little bit more. And then I want one on top also. So we'll add another one. And we'll turn this to the top. It's really very simple. I mean, there's a lot of other things you could do with it, but this is a beginner tutorial. So I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to widen that one up, and I'm not sure of what color. I think I'll do the blue again, maybe. 
some kind of blue again. I kind of like that too. And I'm, I'm not liking the bottom one as much now. So let's go back to number three, which was the bottom one. I think, yep. Bring this one down. Maybe to here. Doesn't feel as bright to me. There we go. I want it brighter. So I'm pulling it down in the middle and I'm giving it a little bit of a brighter look. And let's go back to the top one. And it's trial and error. You just keep playing. I can bring this down even further to blend in with the others. And I'm going to just hit apply. So that's how we have that. Now, next I think I'll do, I will hit adjustments and probably curves. Let's do curves. I'm going to actually pull this down. I want this to be a, like more of a darkness to it and then add something in here. And then I'll play around with this just a touch. And if you move these around, you can get a feel of the mood you really want. And I'm trying to think of a theater representation of dark and moody or something happening. Whether, uh, whether you're talking about this person is evil or maybe they're even in love. <laughs> Who knows? I, I have no idea. I'm making this up as I go along. So just bear with me. And you can do so much more. Um, again, this is a beginner tutorial, and I try to keep beginner tutorials very simple. I mean, you could do layers and layers with this. You could do blend modes, and I don't know if they'll even work. I'll give it a try. Like, I can maybe duplicate this. Let me do Control or Command J and change the blend mode and see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll just go down the line and see if it affects anything. That's not bad. Color Dodge gives me a little bit more. I'm just going to go down and see what happens. And I'm probably not going to use any of this, but I like to experiment. I like Hue, though. Hue looks pretty good. But in the end, that's not bad either. Negation. But in the end, what I'm going to say is I'm not even going to do it. It, I'm just going to delete that. So I'm just going to hit my delete key. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to just delete this whole thing because I only need the one. And you can do other effects to it if you want. I don't even know. I'm not going to keep, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I don't want to keep you bored. I just wanted to give you a quick example of what you can do with lighting and, and the filters here. So it's filter, lighting, and I only work with spotlighting. You could do other things later. Maybe I'll do another tutorial on the different kinds of lighting and textures just in that one filter. But you should try and experiment. So if you like this tutorial, please click like and subscribe. And have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.